innovative. Ladies and gentlemen of the California Trap Trinity, hold on to your cush blunts and your lace fronts. This is your number one choice for entertainment. Come on. It's your boy that always shine and keep the promos right on time. That's right, the promo king himself, product five stacks and count. You already know who it is. It's your girlfriend's favorite cameraman, Respect the Shooter. And you are listening to Cali's Finest on Power Radio Nation, broadcast live on iHeartRadio. Let's go. Hold on to your lace fronts and your cush blunts. This is your number one choice for entertainment. Cali's finest radio authorized by the people. This is your boy that's back for more promos hot and always score. That's right. The promo king himself. Product. Five stacks and counting, and I am the inmate running this cuckoo's nest. And we are broadcasting on Power Radio Nation live on iHeartRadio to the millions and millions of ears to get their daily dose of the streets. My boys are innovative culture on visuals, and I know they got me. Now, today's Get Up and Grind quote, sponsored by the firm Public Relations, is Living life is a choice, making a difference in someone's life isn't. All right, so I'm going to say that quote again sometime during the show, and then at the end, I'll reveal who said it. So once again, living life is a choice, making a difference in someone else's isn't. All right, now, right next to me, I have my, my talent, very ta- one of my very talented co-hosts, um, my boy, shout out to my boy Shooter, he is on a plane to AZ right now. Um, Miss he, you, Shooter. He, right, right, shout out to my boy, you know, he got to do his thing out there, but um, I, I'm going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be all right. And, um, you know, um, we're going to get to all the rest of the heat around this table. But yeah. first, I want my co host to introduce herself to the people. Y'all already know her, though. What's up, y'all? I'm L.A. Hottie. That's T H E E L A Hottie on all platforms. Make sure you guys follow, subscribe, like, comment, hop in the DM, whatever y'all gonna do. Tap in. That's right. That's right. How you <laughs> feeling, man? Welcome home. I'm good. I'm back, y'all. I've been gone like two months, so it's good to be back. That's right. That's right. I'm excited. See what the girls is talking about. Finally got some ladies at the table with me, you know. That's real. Yeah, yeah. I really outdid myself today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like on everything. For real, for real. Hey, also, if you want to tap in with me, then make sure that you tap in with me, newly blue check verified. Hey. Five Who's stacks. Five stacks underscore showcase. There you go. Tap in with your boy. You already know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we can get married now or... No. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Check. <laughs> but look, so um, I want to make sure that I get to these people around the table. I got a lot of talent, um, a lot of beauty, a lot of good business around the table. Um, I'm going to first, I'm going to start with my business partner. Okay. This woman right here, a lot of respect for her. Um, we getting it. We out here with the firm yeah. and, and just, just doing damage. And we're going to talk about some of that damage you doing out there. <laughs> you being TV. a feel. You <laughs> being feel a feel, girl. Yeah, you for real, me? for real. Like, all that. So, please, talk to the people. You've been on the show before. They yeah, know you. Yeah, you already know what it is. Yourself. You know, I'm the Kia Gray, the CEO of many. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, what yeah. they say. Half owner, you know, of the firm. Let's you feel go. me? <laughs> Rebuild your lab CEO and founder. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Executive producer for reality check, check, check. Okay. <laughs> check. You know, and all that, and all that. Like, yay, all say, right. you feel me? Mm-hmm. You know, we do a lot of things, you know, but we'll let it speak for itself. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. Let's let's keep going. This now this one right here. <laughs> I, okay, so this one right here, she been doing big things for a while, and now she's tapped in with Reality Check. Um, right. The music is fire. You know what I'm saying? Loyal fan base, the whole nine. And I'm very honored to have this person on my show. And yeah, introduce yeah. yourself, please. What's the deal, y'all? Go by the name of Queen Ye. You feel me? You can follow me on all platforms at Queen Ye. Don't forget the underscore at the end. And all that and all this. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. <laughs> it's a fact. It's a fact. Let me keep going. Let's go. Hi, um, I'm Mimi, you guys. I do makeup. Um, I just got started, but I like doing it. So, I mean, y'all can check me out at Brushes and Flavors. That's what I do. But yeah, come with your face beat. Yeah, your face beat. I heard that. Go ahead, Mom. R&B. Oh, okay. 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 
I heard that. Go ahead. Um, I'm the J thing. Um, I'm from Long Beach, California, and I'm a mixologist. I'm a dancer, all type of stuff like that. So yeah, I'm so you do it all. Trades, <laughs> <laughs> basically. <laughs> That's real. That's the difference between that milk chocolate and that French chocolate. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, but go, hey, now this this gentleman right here, a lot of respect for this gentleman because this man, his magazine is taking the streets by storm. Now there's there are other media platforms. We're gonna talk about one in, one in particular um, later on in the show. But there are a lot of media platforms that um, push their agenda. Okay, uh, most notably a day in the, uh, a day in the life of L.A. All right, Dijon Paul. A lot of unpopular opinions. His checklist been off and whatnot. But when I tell you that this is the magazine for the streets, right here, this is the magazine for the streets. This is this is the Royal Mag right here. Damn. This is the CEO and founder right here. Yeah. Uh, Introduce okay. yourself to the people, please. All right, what's good, everybody? Damn, I appreciate that. So my name is officially the Prince TH Dollar Sign. That's the rap name, aka King <laughs> Prince from 90K Records. That's the label that I'm signed to. I am Prince Albert Matthews, the actor and model, if you want to IMDB me, um, <laughs> Long Beach, California, North Side to be exact. And yes, the Royal Mag. So it is all things entertainment. It's not just a hip hop magazine. So for people who like are owners of businesses, the companies, like like I said, the firm, the publicists, the managers, all of that. I want everything in this magazine. It's not just limited to people that look like us. We've expanded outside of the, the city, the state, and even out of the country. I got uh, dancers from Russia. Uh, Japan, all that, all that and all of that. So it's really just, it was intended for everybody who is up and coming, but they're hardworking and talented, but for whatever reason, they just not getting the exposure that they need to. Like you said, there's a lot of avenues and lanes out there and outlets, but they're hard to get into. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people personally who are well deserving of being on the covers of magazines, being at least having a page or so, something like that. I know so many people. Um, and so I took it upon myself to create that lane and avenue for my people, but everybody else like us, because we all share the same dream. Mm-hmm. I like it, man. Like, it's one thing to 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 jump on the next big thing. It's another to create Thanks. the next big thing. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? So I, I respect that a great deal. We definitely respect all uh, black-owned businesses and businesses of people of all colors. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so we always keep our finger on the pulse and we always get results right here on Cali's Finest. Okay, and um, we like to do a thing that I like to call trap activity. That's where we discuss <laughs> um, the current events, what's happening in your trap and, you know, beyond. Okay, now firstly, Takashi 6 9 <laughs> got the brakes beat off his monkey man. <laughs> I don't, I don't, that's, I don't, that's funny to y'all. Huh? I, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, who did that? I don't mean? want it to. I don't want to make it seem like I'm charged about another man getting beat up. Right. But when I tell you that he had that coming, I'm not even talking about man. the snitching part. Just yeah. the only, ass yeah, all no, his right. antics, all his antics moving up to this point. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He deserved ass this ass with ass with me. He needed yeah. that. So that's what I'm, I'm not cheering about him getting overall beat up. I'm cheering because he deserted. He needed a whooping. It's like a little kid oh that, you know what I'm saying, the parent just keep letting but, but did he do it that. to them, though, like that beat him up? I mean, Because I feel like that was none of their business. You know what I'm saying? Let the people he talking shit to, I mean, when stuff you to do, When you do the things ass. he did and you have the antics... That he has now they about on. to go to jail because they recorded it, Man, posted it, that all that. He didn't care about jail. You seen his pictures? Oh, now he just got out. He's he doing a long time. He didn't care about jail. That's why he, he should had if he back. just got out. He kicked it on his back and everything. Like he knew what he was doing, man. He knew exactly what he was that doing. That wasn't that man business. But what that's do you do with somebody I'm not like about that? To beat somebody up what do you do with somebody who don't mind happen. getting beat up for the stupid stuff that they do? Because he's just gonna use that to get himself some more attention. So, so what do you do with somebody like that? He got a whole lot of attention. Right. He got a whole lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> a whole so, lot of everything. So okay, so let me ask let me ask you ladies. Okay, now you guys are in the public eye. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you guys on TV. Are. Shout out Royal K Network. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Hey. We on that station too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tap, yeah. But um but yeah, so you guys are in the public eye. So as your um your profiles increase, um you're gonna be looked at by more people, mm-hmm. which means you're gonna be scrutinized by more people. So I just kind of want to get your opinion. Like, we all know 6 9 made a lot of mistakes, but I mean, how would you move 
if you knew you were that high in profile? Like, I mean, would you stay under the radar? No. Nah. Or you, you gonna live out loud? What's, what you gonna do? With no I mean, security. I feel like the type of person that I am, I'm gonna live out loud. But okay. moving how he moving, like, if you was smart, you would stay your ass in the house. You feel me? Yeah, I already right. move like I'm paranoid. So you gotta stay <laughs> paranoid. Right. Stay ready, shit. And you wouldn't move by yourself. Like, why was he in yeah. the bathroom by himself? With no exactly. security. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. You got that much money. Yeah. It's, it's giving... It's giving fake to me, though. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you, Period. it's giving so? setup to me. Cause he would just, do some. Sh- he would do something like that. Come on, too. you can't. And it's just, a dude that don't have a problem. Him. We going to jail though. Like that's my. Yeah. Like I feel like maybe he got paid. Maybe I don't right. know. I mean, he, no, he beat up six nine, but how big that guy was, he could have did way I, more I damage. No, for real. No, for real. Than that superficial shit that he did. I need yeah. to see what the guy looked like. Yeah, he was just oh, took it while he was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All head, beard. All right, big, big guy. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what no, I, mean? I believe he would really plot something like that though, just yeah. for that attention. Mm-hmm. On, and ain't nobody been talking about him for a minute, so I wouldn't right. put it past him. All right. No, for real. So the so the so the report says okay, Takashi six nine was savagely built. Shout to TMZ. Uh, Takashi 6 9 was savagely beaten by a group of men inside a South Florida gym with injuries so bad the controversial rapper was rushed to a hospital by ambulance. 6 9s attorney Lance Lazaro tells TMZ the rapper was inside the sauna Tuesday at uh, LA Fitness when all of a sudden he was attacked by several guys without warning. Lazaro says 6 9 I'm trying not to smile. I know six, he was slipping six, and sliding. That's why I know. 6 9 <laughs> trying, to, trying to fight off the oh combatants, God. but there were too many of them beating him to a pulp. It says a pulp <laughs> before fleeing. They so dramatic. Lance knows right. 6 9 did not have security with him at the time of the attack. That, that right, right there. I was about to say, that told, that told it right there. I swear to God, I knew as soon as you said that, that's they said it up for me. sure. That's real. Like, yeah, so, hell yeah. yeah, yeah. Why you ain't got no they set it up. Yeah. Yeah. He goes everywhere with security. Yeah. And this, yeah. he, he better. Like, <laughs> that's real talk. Yeah. Yeah. And you at the gym, bro. Like, come on now. That's that's real Chilling in the sauna. But not just that. You worth that much money. Think about that part. Exactly. Like, you work that much money, you gonna be by yourself? Like, yeah. no way. And in the gym, where like the the muscle yeah, belt is at, like, <laughs> like <laughs> thank you. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> Let me switch gears. Okay, so the um the teacher strike is about to end. Okay, mm-hmm. um it was a three day strike. Yeah. Okay, um it says that um how many workers it says service employees union 99 uh, represents about 30,000 Los Angeles school custodians cafeteria workers bus drivers and other staff um, they all went went on strike around strike excuse me so it's a three day strike and everybody kids had to stay home except mine <laughs> like yeah, Mars was home. Yeah, Mars was at school. Well, that, see, that's what I'm saying. So my thing is, do you uh, are anybody got kids here? Yeah, I family? do. Okay, well, Key, I know you do. Yeah. So I mean, I, I just wanted to bring this up because it seems like nobody gives a damn about it. Right. That's why I brought it up. Right. Because nobody's talking about it. Like right. you know, kids went without education for well, three days, <laughs> and nobody cares. Right. I think the pandemic. Maybe um, got us prepared for stuff like this. No, yeah. for real, it did. It was something we was accustomed to. I think so. Mm-hmm. Like having kids at home for two years. Mm-hmm. No, like for that's real. crazy. That was crazy. And this, so this little strike. And that's that was so crazy. crazy. Exactly. It's going. It went. Unnoticed. That's how all these businesses came about too. Like everybody right. started a business. Everybody started doing their hair, they sell <laughs> nails. Like, <laughs> like everybody started shit. finding yeah. themselves for sure. Like because right. so, you had too much time. Yeah. That's so fine. we had to. Everything was shut down. You created like three businesses. <laughs> so yeah, so I just wanted to make everybody aware of that that you know what I mean. It's three days, kids went without education. Nobody right. really, really talking about it. it was on the news and everything. And one final thing that I want to touch on as far as the news, um, there's a power. Um, it says roughly after four months after a nuclear power plant in central Minnesota experienced a water leak um, containing a radioactive compound, they said they're going to shut down the facility Friday to conduct repairs of a new leak immediately. So in this, so in Minnesota, central Minnesota right now, it's actual toxic waste, like in the water. Okay. The reason why this, why I bring this up is because Flint still doesn't have clean water. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this was on this right here on CNN. Everybody's already rushing to, to donate money and, and kick in for these people right. but it just really shows you what issues they choose to put their energy behind mm, yeah. and you know that's why you have to become you have to be make sure that you're aware right. of what's going on around you because um, if you're not fighting for it they damn sure not gonna fight for it for you right. 
right? right. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna roll it to a uh, roll you guys into some stacked smooth sounds. Uh, make sure if you guys want to have your music played here, then uh, make sure to email me at Cali's Finest Radio One. That's C A L I S Finest Radio, all one word, one at the end, at gmail.com. Send your tracks through, and um, right now we just we just pumping the tracks out to the station. Tell us different. I'm showing love. You feel me? All right. So um, you guys stay tapped in. All right. This is Cali's finest live on iHeartRadio, Power Radio Nation. It's up and stuck, and it's never coming down. Stick around. He took his off right now, right? Yeah. Okay. So we gonna pause right now. It's that emotional victory music. See everything start to come together. Yeah, Look. I'm on my way. I just been running my race like somebody holding my place. I'm on my way. No matter how long it'll take, my foot on the pedal, no brakes. I'm on my way. I'm trying to get to that place and I'll do whatever it takes. I'm on my way. I'm going to continue to pray because they say it's never too late. I'm on my way. I just been running my race like somebody holding my place. I'm on my way. No matter how long it'll take, my foot on the pedal, no brakes. I'm on my way. I'm trying to get to that place and I'll do whatever it takes. I'm on my way. I'm going to continue to pray because they say it's never too late. I had a whole lot of nothing to turn into something. I told them I went and they thought I was bluffing, but I got to make it. It ain't no discussion. I'm crawling and walking and climbing and running. My foot in the door because I know people. I have some help, so I feel like I owe people. And they still doubt. I guess I got to show people. I get the best of advice from the old people. I got to eat because I really been starving. Planning to see. Now it's time for the harvest. That discipline lesson is one of the hardest, but it's still a blessing to be in the garden. I learned a lot while I've been on this journey. It's all about time and I'm not in a hurry. I drew the line just across it. I had it and lost it. The map that I follow was blurry. I had to stop what I'm doing because nobody knew it, but I could have ruined my health. I had to ask for a sign and make sure it's for me and I haven't been shown nothing else. I'm at that chapter of life where I'm skipping ahead and I see that the story is far from done. But looking at how it all started and how it unfolded, I see just how far did I come away. I just been running my race like somebody holding my place. I'm on my way. No matter how long it'll take, my foot on the pedal, no brakes. I'm on my way. I'm trying to get to that place and I'll do whatever it takes. I'm on my way. I'm going to continue to pray because they say it's never too late. I'm on my way. I just been running my race like somebody holding my place. I'm on my way. No matter how long it'll take, my foot on the pedal, no brakes. I'm on my way. I'm trying to get to that place and I'll do whatever it takes. I'm on my way. I'm going to continue to pray because they say it's never too late. My name is Prince. You can say I was born with the crown. My kingdom is way at the top of the town. What's going around has been coming around. I'm hoping that I don't let nobody down. The light at the end of the tunnel, I see it. Life is a lesson. I'm trying to beat it. The things that I need, I don't really want it. The things that I want, I don't really need it. If you want my team, then I trust you. But what is it all leading up to? The booth is where I'm finna run to. We need a hit with a hook like one, two. I'm made of stone. I guess Sharon is Karen. My Uncle Sam must be married to Karen. All of them holding me back, but I'm daring. I stun on them all while I'm running my errands. I don't know the end date. I don't know the template. I just know I'm trying to break out like I'm an inmate. Think about it all day. Learning it the long way. Every time I skip a class, I end up caught up in the hallway. Tear it down, build it up stronger. You try to rush, you gonna make it take longer. And I got a lot of people waiting on the day that I'ma finish because I'm bringing all my people with me. Everybody with me. I'm on my way. I just been running my race like somebody holding my place. I'm on my way. No matter how long it'll take, my foot on the pedal, no brakes. I'm on my way. I'm trying to get to that place and I'll do whatever it takes. I'm on my way. I'm gonna continue to pray because they say it's never too late. I'm on my way. I just been running my race like somebody holding my place. I'm on my way. No matter how long it'll take, my foot on the pedal, no brakes. I'm on my way. I'm trying to get to that place and I'll do whatever it takes. I'm on my way. I'm gonna continue to pray because they say it's never too late. Here's a fun fact for you. The average chameleon can point their eyes in two different directions. On the other hand, the average human can't. So unless you're a chameleon, there's absolutely no way you can focus on texting and driving at the same time. So don't do it, unless you're a chameleon. Visit StopTextsStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. After no, oh shit, okay, no worries. Okay. I thought you was gonna play two of them. Me too. All right, all right, here we go. We back. All right, y'all, welcome back, man. That was Stack Smooth Sounds. Um, please make sure if you want to have your tracks played to tap in that right there was brought to you by the man himself sitting around the table right now. 
Um, but make sure that you uh, send your tracks in to Cali's Finest Radio 1 at gmail.com. And we'll go ahead and spin it. You know what I mean? We in it to win it over here at Cali's Finest. All right, so this portion of the show, new segment for me, um, it's the True Crime Corner. And just because, I don't know, some people like to hear true crime. So, you know, it's something I'm trying here on the broadcast. So, um, a judge sentenced uh, Aiden Fauci. He's a Florida teenager. He's convicted of first-degree murder for stabbing a 13-year-old over 100 times in 2021. They sentenced him to life in prison on Friday. Um, just want to make sure that everybody understands that these kids is, in, kids is in danger right now, man. I just talked about how they're not being properly educated, and now and, they, and they're killing each other out here. No, for real. Bringing guns to school yeah. and everything. Yeah. They wilding. It's wild. No, we bringing like, We got into a fight and that was it. Like, <laughs> That's a fact. Well, they like, story. shit, really stabbing, shooting. Like, it's crazy. But you know, I think since Columbine happened, that's what triggered it off. Yeah. You know, we've been then. shooting in the hood. The kids been doing but crazy at school, stuff, but they though, never like, brought it to school. Yeah, it was that's never really at school mm. ever. When no. that boy killed all them kids and did mm. what he did. That's, that's okay. it, t- it took a whole nother... You know what I'm That's saying? Pathway sick. for saying it's okay to do this in school. So y'all take God out the schools and bring guns in the school and ain't nobody. But it's the, it's the mental it. health for real too though. A lot of parents, yeah. they getting younger. First of all, let's start there. There's a lot of young <laughs> parents <laughs> and they don't mm-hmm. you know what they doing. They're not supporting them kids mentally. You feel me? Right. They just put them on some nice shoes, clothes. Mm-hmm. But mentally, them kids be lost, lonely. Maybe you know, they be going through a lot of stuff. So mm-hmm. yeah, that, that's really the issue there. It's the mental. I want y'all to keep that in mind too. Because it's a question I'm gonna ask y'all later on too, um, when we kick it up a notch, all right? Um, but uh, but for now, I do want to talk about this this show. Um, you ladies are here. Y'all came down. Y'all all look scrumptious. And y'all <laughs> fantastic. Have a hard time concentrating already. <laughs> like but uh, you feel me right. on the real. You got the series. candy bar next to him. Oh, <laughs> it's the delicatessen of the time. Right. But, uh, but look, so what I want to talk about is I want to talk about reality check, right? Okay, now, Key, I can ask you all day long. <laughs> Don't ask me. You ask feel them. me? But I know these ladies are a part of this experience. You feel me? I want to know what this, what it's like. Like, they like bad girls clubs. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying. saying? What's the, what's the like, vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Positivity. That's the vibe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Okay. Y'all heard Expand on that for me. Y'all elaborate on that. Yeah. Talk to me about it. Well, we just it's really it's somewhere. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. We just spread awareness on you know women empowerment, sticking together and. Trying to get the bag, but not fighting each other to get to it. So mm-hmm. that's right. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think I want to be on There's that disagreements, show. but it never <laughs> yeah. get that far yeah. with, like, within each yeah, other. Yeah, like we basically you know, show them like women empowerment, like, like yeah. that's that's critical. Right. What that's you right. So is it just for you guys, or is no? It more there's girls? more, mm-hmm. but they could some can make it. Okay, right, right. Some are out of town. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's for sure new. So what I gotta? So the question that I have to ask is, is why does it seem like? Majority of these reality TV shows are usually based on the drama. Like, why does it always have to get crazy and fights and you know what I mean? Yeah, can, can, that's, can, that's what's selling. Like, that's yeah. selling. Yeah. That's, that's attention. What yeah. yeah, that's what they want. Okay, so, so a lot views. of people fall victim yes. to that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yeah. you have to be yourself. You have to own your own. You know, that's yes, right. You all be at home watching. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd be fun to watch. Everybody being in that relation is like. Really and then I always like, feel some type of way after watching it. I'd be like, damn, yeah, like, right. right. Let somebody what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. that's a good point you made right there, how it make you feel. Yeah. yeah. That really and nobody just want to watch that yeah. all day. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. You start to tune it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that being said, uh, what, you know, what sets this show apart? Like, what's you know what I'm saying? Because it's got to be a hook, right? Like, people want have to want to tap in. That's what what I'm makes thinking. the show interesting? Since it's not going to be based on mm-hmm. making y'all act a fool with each other. So that's right. what that's what I'm wondering. Well, each cast member has their own like talent, so mm-hmm. it's not like we all do something different. Like some different. some of these reality shows, these these girls, they don't do nothing but fight. That's all they right. can do. Mm-hmm. Fight and do hair. Everybody do hair. Fight and do hair. 
They barely even go to the club. They just but be some of them no. don't even yeah. really know how to do hair for house. real. Like they just know how to. So they just fight. You know, yeah. but we actually do something. Like mm, you right. know, I'd rather hang out with people that do something for real. Now I'm not. I don't want to be in a house full of females that don't want to do, do nothing, nothing but fight right. because you're mad. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. No, that's a fact. You want everybody yeah. around you to be better than you or the same level. You exactly. Don't want to be lower than you. That's for real. No haters too. So do you feel like there's a stereotype or a stigma on black because y'all beautiful black women and intelligent I'm listening to y'all speak mm-hmm. y'all feel like there's a stigma on you know on young black women these days that yeah. you know because it's, it's it's a common misconception that all of y'all out here wild and for the streets and doing nuts old shit you feel me mm-hmm. but I mean y'all look like y'all got it together so mm-hmm. I mean how do you you know how do you combat that that view out there I don't really worry about it because everybody has their own experiences mm-hmm. with those people. So if you choose to hang around those people and view those people and talk about those people, then that says a lot about you. Right. Yeah, so everybody if you're not got a choice. the people that's mm-hmm. doing right, then that says a lot about you. Right. I don't be worried about it. I heard that. Mm-hmm. No, I'm, I'm not mad. Tell them me. And I feel like I got more control over my life. If I don't feel like you giving me anything, I'm not gaining nothing from you, you gotta go. Mm-hmm. Like, if I'm confused, I'm always questioning your loyalty or anything. It's just like, oh, no, 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 no. This is my life. Is. I only got one life to live. Mm-hmm. Nah. That's, 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 That's when you know you're growing up, though, when you mm-hmm. can just release it. Yep. At the drop of a hat, like, what you said? Well, okay. Yeah, man, I like positive energy. Because I drop energy. people Period. quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I, I got to. I give them a chance. I See, I used to give people a chance, yeah, but giving people a chance, that real you could not take advantage of it. You can't let it slide, not even no, one time. Once you see it, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. That's it. Like, people show you their character early, so. That's right. Do. So Just no time. The first time, walk away. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. it. Like, but then you don't have nothing to talk about. Giving chances, that's what got us here now. Like, yep. mine's right. all fucked, I mean, messed up. <laughs> 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 it's all right. You good, you good. Um, okay, so... Kia, like, you you really did, you picked, I haven't got the chance to meet the other girls, okay. women, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I haven't got a chance to meet them, but um, you picked, well, like, these, these women. Can I be yeah. honest with you? God picked them. Uh, that's I'm fact. being honest with you. Like, that's a lot a of people know the logistics about the other show and this and that, but we ain't gonna give them no energy on this because mm-hmm. it's about them mm-hmm. and us, mm-hmm. you know, but... It was like we were handpicked by God, literally. And everybody, like Queen said, everybody have their own career. That was a trip because Mm -hmm. from the other platform it was on, everybody didn't have a talent or they were Mm -hmm. just starting. Like these women really have talent. These women really have talent. Come on, beach baddies. (laughs) (laughs) You irritating. I'm sorry. You irritating for that one. What about them Lakers, guys? <laughs> the Clippers. No. I no. I the Raiders. I apologize. Denver Broncos. I told you, Cam, no. I needed some more. <laughs> no, you know what? If I can touch bases on that for just a second, I just want y'all to know, y'all, y'all out there in the streets, we really out here. We didn't have nothing to do with that, man. Like, right. See, right. the firm, these ladies around this table, and any of the other ladies right. that was involved outside of the ones that organized it, like, right. seriously, right. we didn't have nothing to do with that. So, right. you know, there's a lot of people up in arms from Long Beach mm-hmm. about that show. Mm-hmm. And let's just say I'm not going to put too much out there. I'm not going to say names. Trying to help. But I'm, but I'm putting <laughs> I'm, the, I'm putting it out there. Like, we didn't, have, like, what's going we didn't on? have nothing to do with none of that, <laughs> man. Show. We was just trying to help. She and, don't even know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, man, it, it ain't even... Man, ain't even man, man. No, no, y'all got to talk about, about it now. Yeah. I'll tell you off the show. It, it was... It was just, it was, it was basically, it was an opportunity that it was supposed to be an opportunity for some people, right. but it turned out not to really be an opportunity. You know I already right? knew that. It was like a setup. Yeah. Okay. I knew that yeah. from God. the jump, huh? Yo, God. I was calling I out know. shots every she time was. I felt like yeah. something she was going me. This is not it. I'm That's right. a fact. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but so. I got it together. Now. But we, the cold that. thing about it, a lot of people wanted to think it was all a setup and this and that to my reality check. Mm. When originally... I was helping Mickey and Queen do right. their own show. Right. And the way how we got secluded, God did it. And then we end up with the other ladies, and then it ended up reality check. We came up with a collaborative name, a concept, okay, women empowerment, but what will we stir the women empowerment around? Y'all all got your own careers. Y'all all are entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. and you guys are already getting to the bag. Right. So let's just focus on that. You know what I'm saying? We get into our misunderstandings like sisters do, but we always come back together. And if you think you're going to come for one of us, you're coming for all of us. Yes, 
because I'm not I'm getting rid of them, them like and they're not getting rid of me. And, speak, <laughs> and we going to the back. Speaking of which, speaking of which, because I I feel kind of messy right now, right? Like so, because I'm gonna be all do it, do it, do it. I'm gonna be all professional with Prince because you know we're gonna talk about the magazine in a second, but I gotta be messy real quick. So I was just recently shout out to Pony Boy, Frost Hookah Dolls. I was just I just hosted one of his events and in reality it was a situation <laughs> with one of the reality check girls and somebody <laughs> else from another show yeah. uh, can you elaborate we ain't gonna on say it? no names uh, yeah, can you elaborate I'll, on that? okay so it was literally and I'll let them elaborate on it but okay. it was a personal situation that happened we got invited as VIP guests on the flyer hmm. to an event where we were coming as special guests the other party we didn't nobody knew that this person was coming and i'm not saying no names because i've been threatened to be sued mm. so i gotta protect the firm and protect she's talking about special check. k well, i, I ain't got no money so, come <laughs> so basically i'll let her elaborate on it because it started <laughs> over you know what i'm saying queen and go ahead queen do your thing Ooh. Okay, so wait, what? What y'all would have okay. done? <laughs> I, I just, special I, just I just heard there was a, right. there was a scenario. No, there was no no blows landed or nothing. Mm-hmm. But I heard there was a little dust up, little altercation, little yeah. verbal to and back and forth. What's, what's going on? Are right, you want to let Mimi touch let's, on? Let's talk about. It. <laughs> no, go ahead. So okay, so you know me and my girlfriend, we was getting into it. Okay, you feel okay. me? This is before yeah. reality check. Okay, 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 right. okay. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, this was way before the yes. show. Yes, and um. She was one of the people I was giving my attention to in time, you feel me? And it kind of like, she kind of took it to the head a little bit. Mm-hmm. But we ended up doing a little TikTok, and it was petty. I was uh-huh. mad. I was in my feelings, you feel uh-huh. me? And, um... Did we not get you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel so a lot. Got, so we got posted. She posted it on her page. And you feel me? Me and my girlfriend got back together, and she like, I'm not feeling that because the bitch still got it up type shit right. and I'm like okay I really never did nothing with this bitch I ain't kissed her I ain't fucked her I ain't no. nothing you feel me it wasn't even like that for real but it was just like I, you know like I don't know but she was yeah, not feeling I, that yeah. she Yo, was not feeling I'm that I'm feeling so much smoke from the side <laughs> yeah. I can feel the like energy so far <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you talk to us what's yep, the, sure can. can you talk, <laughs> let, talk, talk to us sure let's talk baby come on now you do this. Talk to me. Talk right into the microphone, baby. There, there you go. This how you do it? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Do your thing. Anyways, okay, so how this started, okay, yeah, like she said, it was over her, a little TikTok post, whatever the case may be. But I just feel like if I see you in person and you're doing all this popping on the internet, I'm supposed to say something when I see you. You feel hmm. me? Like, and then two, my main problem was why, why am I blocked before I can even, I don't even know you. Y'all why, get really why mad am I when y'all get blocked? Yes, I don't know you. Why are you blocked? But the thing was, she was trying to address well, the situation. Yeah, I'm addressing the situation. Yeah. So my thing is, like, first off, somebody told me she here. Okay, you're here. I, mind you, I didn't go back and forth on the internet. I seen the TikTok. They never, I never went back and forth with her on the TikTok. None of that stuff. I'm blocked. Can't even do it. Feel me? But my thing is, when I see you, I'm going to say what I have to say and address the problem. So I seen her address the problem. I'm like, why are you blocking me? First off, that's weird. Two, why are you making TikToks on Instagram like I'm not gonna come for you? Like we not viral, like we not disrespecting my relationship. Like mm-hmm. she like, who are you? You don't know who I am? <laughs> Look crazy. to your right. You're gonna know exactly who the fuck I am because you <laughs> see her standing right here. So the fuck? Come it's on now. Then I hosted this, I hosted this event. It's like, come on now. I hosted this event. She knew yeah. you were. Yeah, you knew, uh-huh. you knew what the fuck was going on, baby. Yeah, because like, we were off line. Exactly. So yeah. my thing is, I tried to address you. You want to act like, you feel me, you didn't know who I was. And you got you got smushed in your mouth because you said something I didn't like. You feel me? That's it. We didn't rumble. I'm not going to say it was a fight, but I did mush her in her mouth because I didn't, I didn't like what you said, period. Mm. And it, it was, was not planned. Plan. I, can't, I can't get a name. It was not planned. I plan. can't get a name drop. I mean, <laughs> no, it definitely I, yeah, it I wasn't. Get, it was not planned. Because look, know. Stax, I didn't even know none of this happened. I didn't even know that they were fighting. I'm in the back with Queen's Tacos making sure my yeah, mom and sister that. are all right. I'm trying to get a taco before we go to the <laughs> game event. No you know, I likes to eat. Y'all know that. Yeah. And then one of my colleagues texts me like, let's go. They ain't here fighting. I'm like, who fight? Like, this don't make no sense. You know what I mean? It's, I get a call from this one. That's exactly how she, she talks. Like, this right? don't make no I'm like, sense. This don't make no sense. Y'all know what we represent. 
She called me the next morning, like, Kia, you seen that last night that happened? I didn't get to talk to you because we went straight to the game event. We right. went straight to the game party. Yeah. So she hit me up. I'm like, y'all good? I, you know, y'all went home. Everybody good? She yeah, like, yeah, there. you seen the fight yeah, last night? I'm like, I went back there. I was getting a taco. I'm like, what happened? She like, that was me, me, and you know who? I'm like, mm-hmm. what? My whole drop, soul dropped. I'm like, no. That's wild. And it was cameras everywhere in the building. So it was like, ah, oh, no, I'm about to get the cars from really Hollywood. Care, though, yeah. like. You feel but, me? I mean, you know what? You know what? I mean, <laughs> but it cool. wasn't planned. It's yeah. not going to be on our show. It's right, on this right, segment right, right. because we're on a radio interview, and that's just how okay, interviews get okay. out. You feel me? Respectfully. Yeah. Yeah. You were asked. Wasn't I'm not even disrespectful. It wasn't yeah, planned. It's not on reality check. No, she didn't mean no disrespect. I'm not even disrespectful. Like, I'm real cool. Like, I'm a real sweet, humble person. I'm nice. I do my makeup. I mind my business. Right. I'm with my girlfriend. I don't want no smoke, but just don't play over here. Right. No. <laughs> when I marry that ass, y'all all gonna be looking stupid with y'all lip hanging out. So, <laughs> no. How long have boy, y'all been together, you and your girlfriend? Almost two years, but that don't mean shit. I know. <laughs> no, I just wanted to no, know. No, 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 for these people over here. That don't mean shit. Two years <laughs> and, and this I right here. Here. This this right right here. It's a long man. time to last with somebody in this generation. More yeah. 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 It's a long time. Yeah, it's right. Especially yeah. two females. Hey, right. more power to y'all. I, listen, love exists in, in many forms. For real. You know what I'm saying? But this is a symbol of y'all niggas is fucking up out here. <laughs> I'm just keeping that shit real. But I'm going to move along. Yeah. I'm going to move along. <laughs> so, uh, they in love. Yeah. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, no, more power to them, but love. y'all niggas, y'all had a chance somewhere down the line. Some niggas, bad, two love. niggas fucked up. You stupid. But, <laughs> you all right, but so. yeah, but yeah, so um, stupid. Prince, Prince, um, let's talk about the magazine, bro. We can segue into that very well. Um, Nakia introduced me to these young ladies and so many other people um, in regards to the magazine. And I do want to say, just from my interaction with you ladies, y'all have been changing the perception of this whole Thank reality you, TV France. thing. Uh, from the photo shoots that we did, from the carpets, all that good stuff, mm-hmm. the way um, she's portraying y'all and carrying y'all, the way y'all carry yourselves, y'all doing a good job so far. Appreciate and this it. is only the beginning, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be the new trend. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it definitely is. I already did see some of my time on that look like reality yeah. check. You bitches is funny as real. tired of seeing girls fight for no reason? Why don't we come together? No, for real. I'm gonna, um, I want I want to dig uh, it's, I want to dig deeper into <laughs> yeah the magazine your music okay um talk about this month's issue that's dropping perfect you know what I'm saying yeah um talk about our future endeavors yeah, yeah. no let's run it let's run it uh, but so but first I want to go ahead and I want to uh, we're gonna go back into another break okay and, and then um after that then Hottie we're gonna get into Hottie's hot seat it's a brand new segment you guys are gonna love this. I see you, it sound messy. We gonna, <laughs> it yeah. sound yeah. real Indeed. messy. Indeed. Indeed. For real, for real. So I want y'all to strap yourselves in. So we're gonna listen to some more we stacks, smooth sounds right here on Cali's Finest Radio on Power Radio Nation, broadcast live on iHeartRadio and 50 major platforms around the world. It's up, it's stuck, and it's never coming down. And Let's it's do it. Never coming yeah. down. Period.
not completing high school is more of a social thing than it was an academic thing. Even though all these years have passed, I still had that longing to have my diploma. At age 30, Carissa finished her high school diploma. If you're even considering getting your high school diploma, you can do it. No one gets a diploma alone. If you're thinking of finishing your high school diploma, you have help. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. You ain't talking about none. Big bands in a stash house. You wanna fuck with me to bring the cash you out? You ain't talking about none. I'll whoop you like your mama doing. Any bitch can get it. What you trying to do? You ain't talking about none. If you want it, come and get it. Cash out on the worry like I'm Nicky. You, you ain't, ain't talking, talking about none. Fuck the set you from, and any bitch can get to meet this drum. You ain't talking about none. Who the got a problem with the queen? You gotta pick a side, baby. Ain't no in between. You again, sweet. You ain't fucking with my team. Bitches won't love, but I sell a hoe a dream. It's so basic. I've been coming with that heat, they can't take it. I'm a real raw bitch, I can't fake it. Pop a bitch in her face, she got a facelift. Popping all that fake shit. Niggas spread on every app, but that cash app. If you want a conversation, where that bag at? You can look, little nigga, but don't grab that. Bitches all talk, but ain't about that. You ain't talking about none. Big bands in a stash house. You wanna fuck with me to bring the cash you out? You ain't talking about none. I'll whoop you like your mama doing. Any bitch can get it, what you trying to do? You ain't talking about none. If you want it, come and get it. Cash out on the worry like I'm Nicky. You, you ain't, ain't talking, talking about none. none. Fuck the set you from, and any bitch can get to meet this drum. You ain't talking about none. I need a Benz and a Bentley. Cream seats with a wraparound Fendi. You ain't talking about none. All them stacks don't excite me. Keep playing with your nose. You can't write. You ain't talking about none. And I'm walling off the beat. And I'm heavy with the heat. And I'm styling in these streets. Real bitch with that drip on. Sexy with no gun thong. My Glock sing the same song. But on the thong thong. I get active in my city like Liddy. It ain't no biggie. If you want it, come and get it. Notoriously, I get with it. Knock a bitch back down. We scraping her off the ground. Pick that bitch back up. Get to thumping her in a You ain't talking about none. Big bands in a stash house. You want to fuck with me to bring the cash You ain't talking about none. I'll whoop you like your mama doing. Any bitch can get it. What you trying to do? You ain't talking about none. If you want it, come and get it. Cash out on the worry like I'm Nicky. You ain't talking about none. Fuck the set you from. And any bitch can get to meet this drum. You ain't talking about none. 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 Man, that was straight heat from none other than Queen Ye, man. Been a Hello. building. And Mickey. And all that. And Mickey, man. <laughs> we really hey, did that for real. That, no, that was fire. Life. That was fire, man. ain't talking about none. They ain't talking about none. Listen, if you want, if listen, the last time I saw the numbers, last month the numbers were um, just a small tidbit, 151,000 unique Woo! listeners. Mm. We was li- we, They were listening to us in Africa, Mexico, okay. wow. um, in Canada, so all over the United cool. States. So we growing. Um, so please, man, tap in with us. If you if you hear you hear this great <laughs> content, if you want to have your business advertised, then also tap in with us. But we want you to hit the station up, all right? www.powerradionation.com. Tap in with them. Uh, reach out to my boy. Shout out to Michael Anderson. Um, and uh, get your yeah, man. Advertise right on this broadcast because we we, we going far. All right. Okay. Now before we get to Hottie's hot seat. Uh oh. Let's talk to my man Prince here. Okay, What's so up? Prince. <laughs> too ready. I'm scared. <laughs> you feel me? She too ready. <laughs> so talk to me about why did you decide magazines, right? Like cause you're an artist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, a lot of artists are fixated on just getting themselves out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you did explain it a little bit. You know, it's a lot of no. people deserving of, but just tell me. The specific reasoning behind you say, you know, I'm going to make a magazine. Okay. Um, well, first of all, there was development of the skill before I really realized. I used to work for a company called Original Parts Group. Mm-hmm. And I, I applied for a marketing position. But when I got there, they considered their catalog a marketing tool. So I was designing their catalogs for them for two, three years. Now, that wasn't something that I planned on doing. So lost that. Fast forward. 
I'm like, you know, I'm submitting to be in all these magazines. I'm getting in some and getting turned down to a lot. And I'm like, dang, it's just so, it's so hard to get into these magazines. You know what I'm saying? And then um, I was like, shoot, like everything that I've done, either I couldn't afford to do it myself or I couldn't explain to somebody else how I wanted it done. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I could probably figure out, I could probably figure out how to do it. You know what I mean? And so I, I asked a few people like, yo, if I did this, like, would you would you be a part of it? Like, would you support it? And everybody was like, hey, like, yeah, like they went crazy for us. Like, OK, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And so I just started designing pages and just I started putting together little templates for people who I would imagine to be in the in the magazine. But, you know, once I saw people, um, they thought it was a big deal. It was other people that thought it was a big deal. So when the perception of other people that this was a big deal, I was like, okay, so I got to do this right. I got to step it up and I got to make it a big deal, you know? But really, I mean, like I said, it was just, I just saw an opportunity for me to be creative and um, be my own boss. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, I think everybody wants to be able to do what they love and not have to do something that you hate, you know, but it's paying the bills, you know? For me, I'm a creative, I'm a creator, you know? So music was just a part of it. I'm 100% a creator. Most of the things that I do, I've always designed my own flyers, a lot of my album art. Um, I learned how to produce for myself, like all of these things, I've just learned how to do it myself. And a couple of, I ain't gonna say no magazines, but they they was not trying to let me get up in there. So I was like, I, you know. hey, I was like, all right, all right. I'm gonna do it myself. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna come out with my own. My cell phone. Yeah, so, you know, it was a few selfish reasons in there but I, like I really know so many people right. like I know so many artists man and, and they really working hard been working hard for a long time if you look at people's stories by the time you heard of them they probably been working 10 plus years bro yep. grinding yeah. like hard mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and they just been in one spot or they they just don't know how to go about expanding mm -hmm. themselves you know what I'm right. saying and um, a magazine is such a, a marketing tool so I still don't realize how, how the significance of what I've just done mm -hmm. but I'm starting to see people everybody else's is brains are, are, are blowing yeah. so I'm like all right every time I see it get bigger I'm like all right well I gotta step it up then because right. I'm like it's got to keep keep matching what people expect from it you know what I mean right. but I haven't disappointed yet everybody seen to, everybody seemed to like it um this young lady Nakia has been been a huge <laughs> blessing now for real I'm gonna give credit where credit is due that's why you see me with the re reality check girl so much um, it wasn't. It wasn't just these ladies. I I would literally have to flip through the pages to see all the people that I made it into this book. I'm on the cover of this one, but these girls are on the cover too. I always yes. do multiple covers. Um, what month they on the cover for? Uh, this is March. This, yeah, month. this month. This month. Okay. This month yeah. that just just dropped. Yes. So we have them. We got what? Well, it was No Sense. Yes. It was the Jasper Boys. Yep. Um, oh, damn, who's all your people? Like I, I really gotta flip. <laughs> I literally gotta just flip through the page. Like, like that's her person. That's her person. That's her person. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But um. And so now we're growing. So now we talking about the firm being on the cover. Yes. So let's let's oh. let's just. I just want to say this one thing about covers, and then I'll I'll, I'll turn it around to y'all. So this next month is April. That's my birthday month. It's my birthday so, month too. Yeah. yeah. Aries gang. Well, Aries, Aries, and Taurus. I'm a Taurus. I'm right. at the end of April, but we you know we right. we, we rock with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, but right. so I'm, I'm gonna probably take a step back. So it's the first four books. I'm I'm, I'm gonna cover the first four books. I'm not Oprah. I'm not gonna be on every single cover. But I always did multiple covers just so that people have an option to pick from let's say your three favorite hot celebrities let's say you know what i'm saying you say you got nikki drake and lil wayne some people's gonna get nikki some people's That's gonna right. get drake some people gonna, some people might get all three of them mm -hmm. you know what I'm but either way it don't matter which one of these magazines is flying off the shelf that's everybody right. that's in this book it don't matter your article is in every issue as long that's as it's you in that issue it's in all of them that's so it's even more you know like promo for the artists as well that's a fact. you know what i'm saying so oh, yeah. um and it's a bit like everybody like it's such a big deal to be on the cover of a magazine oh, yeah, and so i love nice. the creative control to be able to put people on that's i'm sorry way. so now we got the firm, right? Period. So let's talk about it. Y'all yeah, was ready. I was like, uh, so let's talk about it. So let's talk about it. I'm it's just saying, deal. like, I get the opportunity to get fancy and you know, oh, yes. birthday, my poses and whatnot. I don't know it's your birthday right. month too. That's what's yes. up, man. Yes. Yeah. What's what's up? April, technically April, because yes. April eighth. That's my birthday. But every that's season, still. but at the end of March and but it's still your birthday month though. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I'm excited, man. I'm definitely excited. I mean, I've been in. Shout out to Patient Picasso. So I've been in a magazine before. I was okay. in Big Work magazine. Big Work. But this is my work. first opportunity to be on the cover. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm so tell, So excited. tell me, why why is it such a big deal to you to be on the cover? You very well known, very, you know what I'm saying? I'm all right. you, know, you know what I'm saying? I'm so why? I know that. <laughs> so, so why is it a big deal to you? To me, it's a big deal for one, because 
Cali's finest radio is my baby, right? Like I like I, I birthed it with the help of my boy Shooter, shout to Shooter and my boy Aaron Perry. We all we, we came up with the original concept, okay. but shaping it, molding it, making yeah. it, bending it to my will. That that's me. Okay, you know what I'm saying? The firm. That's really like that's me and my sister Lincoln. Just you know what I'm saying? Linking yes. up. Doing good business together, earn, learning trust in each other, yes. and being able to build something bigger, something okay. larger. How y'all come up with that name? The firm. Mm-hmm. I, it just we was day. on the phone, yeah. bro, <laughs> and then we was just kind of, and then you know, it's crazy. Organically, we said it at the same time. That's weird, right? Yeah. But it's it's the truth. Yeah. Like I fact. said something else, and he said something else, and we both was like, "Well, what firm. about the firm?" At the same time, yeah. I remember That's like crazy. it was yesterday. I was sitting in my driveway. And we both said, and I was like, bro, we just yeah. said the same thing. Oh, stop. That's Literally. That's a fact. It's crazy. Yeah. We was on That's the phone. Dope. The moments like that. <laughs> it was I'm organic. Saying, it was yeah. like that, that lightning bolt just hit your brain type. Yeah. So when people started getting mad at us, like, you know what I'm saying? Publicists that's been in the industry for years was mad. Like, oh, we've been helping y'all and this and that. And we was like, we actually was going to ask you to join because this is a PR firm. So like you have a brokish firm, you have all kind of real estate agents yeah. that is part of this brokish firm. We initiated a whole bunch of PRs that was going to be working together, a whole bunch of publicists that was supposed to be a part of this PR firm. Okay. But it didn't work out that way. That's so crazy. We work with them on collaborative projects. No, it's you know like every time saying? we try working with somebody, yeah. they want to take it over. And we like, <laughs> like, hey, like, I, what I like, learned about business, yeah. though, working with other people, it will slow you down. You have yeah. to do stuff on your own your own pace right working with other people and it just slowed you down not for, for real, real. And you gotta then, keep starting over you gotta no it's yeah. too many and then time had went by and i was like bro i was like we need somebody that's the goat that that's working with us i know a lot you know a lot we know different stuff but i'm like bro kato because that's how we know each other okay my cousin kato his brother kato you know I what met, i'm saying i met kato yeah yeah kind of y'all like that was that's that's so what other person better than that i'm talking about Yuck Moff Radio, Kadi you know what I'm yeah. saying? The, the, the second generation of Tupac, you know, right. if you think of Kato, shouts out to Kadi yeah. You feel me? So yeah. that's how we started the firm, and here we are, like standing a year strong. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Okay. So she she was she was she sidetracked you a little bit because we got the we got the backstory on Cali's Finest Radio and the, the firm. firm. Right. And you was just telling me why it's oh, a big yeah. deal now y'all finna be on the cover. Yeah, man, just yeah. because I mean Royal Mag is one is a magazine that's tapped in with the streets. Um I'm all about the Trap Trinity Compton Long Beach, Los Angeles, been all over the place. You know what I mean? I helped out probably maybe over at least two to three hundred artists like just more than yeah. that more than that more than likely <laughs> you know what i'm saying and just big you know just moving around so it's good for me to get the acknowledgement you know what i mean so i appreciate that you feel that yeah that man we're worthy enough to be on the That's cover of the crazy magazine. man that that blows my mind to hear yeah, that man. to hear that you know what i'm saying and i'm i'm honored to do it and it's things like that to make me feel like like i ha- i have to keep doing this you know what I'm saying? This yeah. this really started out as an idea. And I have a lot of ideas, but they don't always go over well with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So I, I literally be tripping. I look up, like, I look up to people like y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all oh, bosses. No, I'm not just saying that. Y'all <laughs> y'all bosses in this in this game. You know you what I'm saying? Too. So I I mean, I never look at myself like that. That's why I shave my beard. I look at myself as like a youngster, you feel me? Oh, I don't oh, I don't yeah, I, I don't even feel you gotta you know what I mean. It's well, not, into it. yeah. all about how you feel, man. Yeah. But no, nah, I I mean that's shout out to the beginning. Y'all, so. That's humble though. That's just, what I'm talking about. I'm but it is gonna humble. be it is yeah. it is gonna be a big deal it to see y'all on the firm though. Yeah, like yes, that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You got and I never forget where I came from and I, I'm a, I'm very much in touch with reality. You know what yes, I'm saying? I, I still I still mess up. Everything is still trial and error. Everything is still a learning process. You know, and so I appreciate the help. Like seriously, I've been one person doing so much. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. So, and it's gonna pay off. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna pay, pay off. off. Well, well thank you for letting us help you. Man, oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for offering. I appreciate it. Most definitely. So I'm looking forward to everything that we do moving forward. Oh yeah, definitely. But now I wanna I wanna get raunchy now. Oh shit. Here he go. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right, y'all. This so. is this is a little new <laughs> segment. Oh, no, no, no. I'm about to yeah, I'm finna <laughs> give you the floor, right? Uh-huh. So this is what we're gonna do because Heidi Heidi is going is gonna do her thing and then I got a question that I'm I'm trying to flip the table over with. Oh, so it. okay, so <laughs> this right here, this segment is brand new. This is the first time we're doing this, and we're gonna be doing this moving forward, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. This is Hottie's hot seat. Ooh. 
Okay, Let's do it. So this is my favorite part of the show now. <laughs> it's basically where I ask a true or false question. I choose the person, you know, whoever I'm gonna choose to answer the question. Yeah. And it's I'm a relationship <laughs> sex talk type of person. So it's mainly gonna be like relationship sex talk. Cause I uh, like them type of topics. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm talking about hottie here. Yeah, like I, I just like talking about hot. it. You feel okay, me? Okay. So. Um, yeah, so when I choose a person, you just answer true or false, and then you elaborate why you feel it's true or false, and then everybody else, you know, can have their opinions about it or whatever. So I am going to choose Stax. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, you're going to answer, yeah. Okay. You're in trouble. Uh, so yeah. I have a question for you. Okay. Well, it's you just answer true or false. Mm-hmm. Uh, every woman secretly wants a threesome. Do you think that's true? <laughs> Not everyone. Or do you think it's false? I think that's... Or do you feel like every woman would secretly do I one? think, like, well... Do you feel it, like every woman is, woman it, is capable of doing a threesome? Like, you can... Even one that, that don't want a threesome, you can talk her into it or convince her, or, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel first like every off, woman got a little bit of... Let, you know, that's what I'm saying. Them, now, first off, <laughs> first off, I don't think any woman can be convinced into it. She kind of has to want to do it a little it bit. It. You know what I'm saying? It's got to already kind of be in her. Right. Um, I wouldn't say every woman because I've had some women that's just adamant like dude I'm not eating no vagina like you know what I'm saying um, but then surprisingly they're like well I, she can eat mine but I want <laughs> exactly. so go figure but okay but but to, <laughs> like, <laughs> but to me but to me personally I feel that a lot of women nowadays appreciate other women a lot more so they're more open to, more it, open to it and more willing the threesome part I'm not so sure about because a lot of women would just cut the cut the nigga right out the right out of it. But you do feel like they will engage yeah, they will, with another yeah. woman. Oh, yeah, though. if she down for you like that, but she gotta already kind of have that that sugar in her tank a little bit to to want to do that. Like <laughs> she not just gonna wait. Because I, I, I didn't, personally, like I didn't met females that said they wasn't gay, and next thing you know, we kissing. You feel me? Yeah. So I be confused sometimes. That's yeah. what you call a fake game. So that, that's when the, the that's liquor like, kicking yeah, in and all that you right, feel yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. you don't feel like they. But if you do stuff she when you're drunk, ain't no. that kind of like you? Who you, know you know really are? They like say drunk tail, deep tail. down <laughs> inside, <laughs> you, you're bold I, I, enough to do it yeah, now. You know like what I'm saying? You need to have it. You don't think so? I don't know. I mean. Yeah, I get. If now that you put it like that, yeah. Yeah, it's like you do the stuff you wouldn't do when you're drunk. She like since you made it convincing. Yeah. <laughs> but just remember when you drunk it's just it's taking away your inhibitions you wanted to do it anyway yeah yeah. That's just how takes you away your just inhibitions to do, to do it, it or you just never probably didn't think that deep into it or whatever right. it was a thought before like that's, that's why I be trying to tell people when women when we sleep with men if we sleep with you because we was drunk that means we already thought about it or we already that's thought real. you was cute you know, the liquor did not make me sleep with you sir I'm telling you and I already thought about it in my head before I did it okay and this might be the controversial view but it, <laughs> on the other side of the on the other side of the spectrum if you know what I mean right that right there you your man get drunk and start tooting it up and doing twerking. Oh and my God. God. Okay, you feel oh, what nah. I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. You already wanted to do that. You already wanted to do that, sir. You already wanted to do that. Back mountain. I'm just keeping it real. No, for real. So look. So okay. Back mountain. So has anybody had a threesome in here? I've had no. I've had a threesome. You had a about, threesome? I've had about three. Never had a threesome. Y'all had a threesome. Mm-mm. The city told me don't speak. Mm. <laughs> oh, Nikki, I know Nikki. I had a five something. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Yeah, you should have put you in a high seat, girl. Oh, high seat on five. So yeah. I, got a, I got a question. So I got Uh-oh, a question. Five twist, so okay, so I've had threesomes before, and through my experience. There's always gonna be one female that's mad. Man. Yeah. At the end of it all, right? Yeah. Like, I mean <laughs> Unless it's not they nigga. That's why you gotta get invited. No, right. I, I think for a different if reason. If you get invited, they still get invited. I say for a different yeah, reason. You if you, if this numbers. is my girl, like okay, you, <laughs> you, you you my girl and we have a threesome, I better not smash her. Better than I smash you. Hell while no, we're doing a threesome because you watch it. <laughs> you in trouble. It's gonna be a problem. Now the other female that came along for the ride, she figured, okay, well, since they got a I can get as nasty as I want, I can cut loose. They with because it. they they right. with it in their couple, right? It was planned. But at the end of the day, if she don't get satisfied, she gonna feel like, why'd I waste my time with this? Yeah. So I feel like it's an awkward situation to be in as a man. Like the I feel first like it one. Shouldn't I, be happening. But that's why the girl gotta pick the girl. <laughs> 
That type of stuff should be. I feel like even when a girl <laughs> picked a girl, they still be getting jealous. I tell you, I done been in situations me. where I didn't have friends, close friends, and we didn't did threesomes, and they would get jealous. Like told me to come and everything, and then. Get jealous, or I'm just like, okay, that's, that's my fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it in my butt. Yeah. Hold on, y'all, y'all yeah. going a little bit too hard <laughs> over there. Like, right. I recommend if you are a fella out there and you're gonna have your first threesome, then you take a pill. I'm just, I'm gonna recommend that. I was in my 20s, yeah. so I had the stamina, but I was like, I don't know do, way. I heard the pill. Everybody do that. Right. Do everybody do that? Or am I don't No, I'm not talking about blue chews or Viagra's. I'm talking about that gas station pill. What about the honey pack? What about the honey pack? The one that got the rain. Don't y'all judge me. I was 25. Gas station. I was 25 and I was not about to be clown because I got stage fright. That's a lot of pressure as a man when you got two women there. That, that's just trying that's to get. And y'all still pressure. end up not doing that's it. That's right. a lot of pressure. All that Damn pressure it. just to not do it right hey, still. Leave that's me alone. Y'all yeah, left them both passed out. How about that? Yep. What is pills? But let me tell you something about those pills, though, real quick, and then I'm going to move on. Be very, 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 very careful with those pills because they fast. will keep, yeah, you'll outlast them. You will outlast them. I was four, Ooh, four o'clock in the morning. You look like Melvin at the end of the bed. Four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Yo, look, four o'clock in the morning, I'm on my back looking at the ceiling standing straight north and I had to finish myself. They both passed out. Breathing hard. Yeah, I'm trying to raise this one's legs. Like, uh-uh. I try to <laughs> lean this way. Oh, she like, no. 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 Oh, no. I'm, saying, saying, damn, I'm still... <laughs> Like, so be careful. I wasn't that's, ready. That's public service announcement. Public See, service announcement. Keep that energy sure. away. But, um, Y'all tried them um, them little honey packs? That's the honey packs, I heard honey they work. Packs. I have not tried honey packs yet, though. You want Y'all tried them? That shit's fun. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So I thought the honey packs were, were for guys. They're for women too. I don't know. I want to get them back. I'm gonna get some today. Yeah. I see some girls take them. Yeah. Wait, where you get them from? Though? The where you, you, know, you can go to the liquor store. They have them at the sex store. And I think you can put it on the outside. Everybody gonna get honey packs after this. I'm honey packs. Everybody gonna get honey packs. Shouts out to honey packs. That's wild, man. If you're looking for some models, contact Reality and LA Hotties for those honey pack. Honey. Oh, yeah. oh man, okay, all right. So, <laughs> kids, damn. close your ears. No, honey oh, yeah, let me show. Yeah. Okay, all right. So listen. So what we gonna do? What we gonna do, Cam? We gonna we gonna go into one more break. All right, we gonna run a little bit more music. Yeah. When we smoke. come back, yeah. When we come back, I'm a uh, I'm gonna drop this the question of the night. Okay, but before we go, What's um, the before of the night? I haven't said it yet. Yeah. Before you go into that question, or not even, it's not even a question. It's more of a statement, and I really want to get your opinion on this. Cause uh, some I read, he's about to get his billboard, hey. oh, and hey. you got your billboard, and we saw hey. me the other day on the billboard. Yeah. And I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of everybody. Our billboard. Yeah, you gonna get proud, yours too. Yeah, I'm gonna get mine too. Yeah. Yeah. You feel I'm me? So everybody. shout out to yeah. Global yeah. Billboard. Yeah, let me say that real quick. Shout out to Global Billboard. Shout out to Star and Trayvon. Yeah, appreciate y'all. That's a fact. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead. We are gonna go into some more stacks, smooth sounds. Then we're going to get deep in. We're going to get real deep into this. Get deep. I can't wait. Look. <laughs> oh, my God. What you doing? Actually? It's you up, like it's stuck, here. and it's never yeah, coming down. Ain't coming down. We on Honey we Cat. Cam, let's do it. I'm really about to go get one. I didn't know women could take it. That was a good question. Say they can't. Steady perfecting Your pockets stay broke You worry about being accepted Niggas can't have rejection Niggas is bitches They stay in their feelings Oh, I just We gon' make a million We gon' make a killing Shoot my head into the wrong Bitches and they plot it on me But I'm so real If you ain't got it You know I got it on me And I ain't lying I'm on song Look like I got it on me But if you put that shit on me You better hold the fire
back. We back up in a spot. We back up in a spot. So look. Here we go. Finna shake the room. Okay. I was reading something. Mm. Something very, very thought provoking. Okay. Mm. Um, it was in the men's uh men's health journal. As I'm just gonna read this. Okay, as a member of the board of directors of the National Organization of Fathers and Families, Robert Franklin is an active father's rights advocate. Franklin is pushing for mandatory DNA testing at all births to help combat paternity estimates in the United States alone. Between 280,000 to 410,000 children are born to men who think they are the father but they are not. In every case of paternity fraud, there are two men being defrauded, Franklin said. He talked about men's rights with the men's rights side about paternity fraud and solutions to this growing problem. Okay, so I just want to get a, an honest opinion. I'm not going to judge anybody's opinion. I mean, if you like, you know, F that, I don't know. But I want to get your honest opinion. Like, do, do, do you think that is something that we should be, that should yeah. be implemented? Yeah, if it's for pre- yeah. pre- preventative measures, then yeah. Okay. I'm not going to say the first one because I'm going to know. Who I, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to definitely say yes. Um, I don't have, I don't have no children, but I was definitely dating a young lady who had a guy sign the birth certificate for her daughter and he was claiming the child, all that. There was no doubt in his head. The baby looked like the mama, looked just like the mama. Damn. But the dude's mama was like, get that, get a DNA test on that. Get a DNA test on yeah. that. And he's getting at it with his mama and all this. He's like, what are you talking about? And then finally, he did come to find out that was not his baby. And oh, then no. she was like, okay, if it's not his, and I know who it is. And she got that boy tested and it wasn't his either. <laughs> to this day, to this day, I don't know if that little girl yeah, know who her daddy is. Situation. That's wild. And and it's all these years and all these gaps in time. The baby is attaching, getting attachments to different people, and the baby's like, "Who's who's my who's my daddy?" You know what I'm saying? And so you need to that needs to be addressed early on. Absolutely. So I think that would save a lot of people a lot of heartache. Yeah. I want to I want to tap on it. Come on. Um. So I honestly think it shouldn't matter. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Because sometimes when children do get DNA tests and the actual father, you find out who the dad is, the dad actually doesn't come active in a person's life. So mm-hmm. sometimes it really don't matter because the person that they was raised with and build a bond with is who their father really is to them. I, no, I feel that. You feel that? I absolutely, so, I absolutely yeah. feel that. And um, that's my personal opinion. But if they do it in the beginning, that would prevent that. that you feel yeah. me? For them even but building then, that what connection. It, what if it caused that father that could have been potentially a bond with that child, it would cause them to act different? Not necessarily. Well, wait, I, you know, to uh, me. beforehand, like before he even gets attached to the baby, like because they right. said, you know, they said they're doing it on the spot. Yeah. On the spot. Yeah. Yeah. So he won't even have time, time to build to, a relationship yeah. with the baby if they know right yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no look, this yours, life. it's not yours, whatever. But no, listen, I, I hear what you're saying, but I think the child needs to have the opportunity to be like, okay, to look, I felt, I know who my real dad is, and it is what it is with that, but. This who I know to be my parent. It's just like if a kid is professionally. A, I'm one of these. I kids. think so. That's, That's my crazy. professional opinion. Here's a wild you know, thought for like, child just, support purposes. But just just kind of throwing this up against I the wall. Like how about like you don't have sex with a man that you know ain't shit. And if you're a man, how about you don't have sex with a woman that you know ain't shit? Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't know they ain't shit until <laughs> afterwards. Niggas be niggas be it's acting a lot of bad. Y'all some good ass actors. actors. I respect the situation Y'all when good ass actors. I respect the situation when it's like that. Okay, you didn't see it coming. But some of these people, you know what you getting when nah, you deal with them. Man. When you met them, when you met the man, he had three kids. <laughs> <laughs> when you met him, he had three kids. When you met the man, he was. Punching and he was never with him. Oh, he shit. never had his kids. Don't get me wrong, fellas. We do, we do it too. Yeah, fellas, we do it too. How many times you done seen the pictures when you got that woman with her man and they got like twelve kids in the picture? Three she years and three years. But as a fella, you still thinking to yourself, man, she must got some. <laughs> like, no, that's a snap. No, she red flag. What they say, red flag. That means she fertile. That don't mean she got good pussy. Okay, she got snap back. Okay, right. Right. Just, you know, her uterus is just you know, fertile. That means she just letting everybody go up in there. <laughs> no, room. she no, just no, got no. I'm saying if this is all, good if those are his kids, <laughs> that oh, means he's okay. repeatedly going yeah, yeah. up in there. Oh, yeah, if it's the same daddy, yeah, that's where he at. uterus is just good. No, yeah, where he at? <laughs> 
Where he at? No, no, he can't just say that and the microphone. Hold on. That's a question. Where he at if it's 12 of them and she just, oh, yeah, you know, I got my 12 kids. Come on over here. I'm making pork chops and green beans. (laughs) No, where he at? You make that for him. He lives at work. He's got 12 kids. He lives at work. Yeah. He got to live at work. That nigga ain't at work. If he a real one. He got a lunch wife. (laughs) (laughs) But, yo, okay, so. I got like cheese on my salami sandwich. (laughs) But definitely, I had a blast this show. We're in the twilight of the show right now. So I want to go around the um, table and I want everybody to just kind of drop their platforms, let people know what you might have going on right now that you want people to go check out. Kia, I'm going to start with you. Google me, Nakia Gray. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Everything. Heavy Thank you. Heavy on the Google me. Nigga, we Google me. out here. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, y'all can watch me on, I'm about to be on South Central Baddie Season 4. LGBTQ baddies season three, yeah. and I'm on reality check season one. Go so ahead. we, my face really check, shouldn't check, be on check. TV for real. I'm not okay. playing with okay. y'all. Remember that? I, I ain't come to my fucking okay, play. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I heard that. We, got, we gotta, we gotta get that out there. For real. Um, <laughs> hi y'all, I'm Mimi. Um, I have a business where I do makeup. Um, nice. I have brushes and flavors. You guys can tap in and get your makeup done. Oh uh, yeah, fuck with me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And follow our couple page too. We be going up on there. Y'all be doing y'all solid, man. Yeah, we I, do. We I, I with all y'all. Y'all, yeah. y'all solid couple. I tell y'all, y'all good. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, Child you guys. Like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, but I tell you, I'm going to tell you, through yeah. my experience no, with, with, Krishana, Krishana. Through my experience <laughs> with pretty <laughs> women, when y'all argue, though, it's like everybody leaves mm-hmm. the room. Like, nobody, <laughs> yeah. no, everybody no, no, nobody get involved. Yeah. Okay. None of that. Rashawn and blue face. You don't want to die. Get the <laughs> she said Rashawn and Rashawn. Rashawn and Rashawn. Go ahead, honey. All right, my Instagram is official beaks, N-Y-N-X, underscore. I have a clothing line called the Ebony Hills Company. Yeah. It is basically Beverly Hills, but Ebony, you get it? So that's basically it. I got some music coming. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Just follow me. You can follow everything in my uh, link in my bio. Good music, too. Good music. Both of you. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. All right, I'm the J Thing. You can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I got mad followers on there. Yes, you do. Um, I'm trying to do my acting career, so hopefully you guys will see me on the big screen real soon, especially on Reality Check Season 1. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she ain't trying. She doing it. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. All right. Um, well, look, y'all can follow me on all the all the platforms. The social media is, is at the Prince THS. Um, the music is out there. Um, shout out to Good Liquor, my alcoholic beverage brand. Shout out to Hip Hop 101, which is a, a hip hop battle card game. Um, I didn't want to spend too much time talking about that, but we finna make some big noise with that coming up real okay. soon as well. Um, and the magazine, the Royal Mag. So the latest issue is out. You can go to theroyalmag.com. You can order that. Hit that link. Scroll through all the people that's on the cover. You can get me. You can get the one that have these young ladies as well as everybody from Reality Check. Um, I want to give a shout out to the firm. Obviously, I want to give a shout out to. Quartz Customs and Garrilla who put this together for me. Yeah. But a lot of people be helping me out, so I really want to just you know shout out everybody and uh like really really thank you to Nakia <laughs> for bringing us all together um, and just including us. Like it was it was perfect. You got the reality check girls, you got me, you got the Furman and That's everybody. Organic. Yeah, no. So I, I really appreciate that and like being included. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, man. I just want to say thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You know, say you know we be bumping into each other all the time. Oh, yeah. You know, so oh, yeah. we never really got to like sit down and really just like yeah, chop man. it up. Just say this this is just the start. We gonna definitely Absolutely. I'm gonna send some people your way. Like, but I'm real. I'm really honored though. I'm really honored to be working with you and I'm I'm glad that um you being on the cover makes it gives you gives you that impression and all oh, that yeah. good stuff and, and absolutely you're not the first person that said I, they wanted to make sure they was worthy of being in here I'm like bro that's why I made this like I, right. I made this for people who I know y'all need to be in here somebody right. needs to see y'all somebody the, whole, to see the whole point is like when you look through these places if you haven't seen these people and you don't know who they are read about them and find about them these are people y'all need to know about that's a fact exactly. you know what I'm saying so that's really the whole point that's a fact that uh, us real talk Okay. Right. You dropped your platforms already, right? Yeah. Um, the Prince THS on all the social medias, Prince Albert Matthews on IMDB, and you can Google me. You feel me? Um, and so that's, you'll see all the, you'll see, you'll see all the acting and all that stuff. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been right. doing a lot for a long time. That's what's up, bro. Mm-hmm. Hadi? Uh, my name is Hadi. You guys can find me on all platforms at the LA Hadi. That's T H E E L A Hadi. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, hop in my DMs. If you ain't nasty, don't at me, okay? Period. <laughs> oh, that part right there. 
And of course, you can always get with me, man, your boy, Five Stacks. Um, Five Stacks underscore showcase. That's the page I'm going to primarily be uh, working through now. Um, you know, and um, a whole lot of things coming up. Um, we On the 27th of May, um, I got the Fashion Business Mixer. Uh, shout out to Mike Malone. He'll be doing a uh, he'll be doing a fashion exhibition with his models. Um, we're gonna be turned up. I'm gonna have I've already got over 125 RSVPs of business owners, entrepreneurs right. in the building. Um, so if hey if you guys want to tap in and it's a free event, just make sure you go to my Instagram, Cali's Finest Radio, and um, tap the Eventbrite link. And um, man, RSVP. Pull up is gonna be crazy. Brought to you by Cali's Finest and Power Radio Nation. All right, so we're gonna get up out of here. This is your boy that's always clean and got them promos. That's oh so mean. That's right, the promo king himself. Product <laughs> five stacks and counting. And this is California's finest radio on Power Radio Nation, live on iHeartRadio and Pandora and Live 365 and 50 other major platforms <laughs> around yeah. the world at oh, Royal K that. Network, nigga, and yeah. Donkey Ball TV Network and Innovative <laughs> Culture Network, nigga. It's up. It's stuck. It's never coming down. And never forget, you're tapping with the greatest. The greatest. The best. The best. The finest radio. <laughs> the finest. Ever. Come in contact with, baby. West Coast, we gone. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen of the California Trap Trinity, hold on to your cush blunts and your lace fronts. This is your number one choice for entertainment. Come it's on. your boy that always shine and keep the promos right on time. That's right, the promo king himself, product five stacks and count. You already know who it is. It's your girlfriend's favorite cameraman, Respect the Shooter. And you are listening to Cali's Finest on Power Radio Nation broadcast live on iHeartRadio. Let's go. Innovative.